Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make this mini-verse make it mini ball. This is the series one I have here um, and we're going to uh, open this and make whatever is in here and then I will try to make it in 1 to 12 after that. So see you on the table. So here we have the ball. Let us open it up. Uh, and that was actually the price what I gave for it in uh, euros so uh, $12.99 uh, well these are kind of expensive but there is also a lot of interesting things in here and resin don't we have it yes it's right here um, I don't think this one is for kids though because there is resin in there and resin is toxic so this is more for the adult collectors than the kids. Or if you have a kid that think this could be fun, then please do it together with them. Because again, resin is toxic. And the other one, this is actually some really nice paper here. Um, let me get this one. Ah, these never works. Let me try that one more time here. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, oh well. I just rip the rest off here, and it has a third layer. Um, I don't really think it's necessary with all these extra layer, because that's a lot of extra plastic that just goes into the waste. Let's get that out of here and open up this one. So we have a lot of guides hidden here that we don't need. Again, what a waste. Um, but I think they need to be there for safety reasons. Rise and shine. The little um, template or template with uh, the how-tos. A little table here. I kind of like these small tables. Um, they are too small for 1 to 6 scale. Well, they could go as a cake stand. No, that would still be too too big for a um, 1 to 6. But it almost have the size of a... It actually have the size of a 1 to 12 uh, table, I think. Yeah, 5 centimeters. <coughs> I have my measurement up there. Uh, so that would actually I can do it right here so one two three four five centimeters almost five centimeters so that would fit really nice into a 1 to 12 scale dollhouse actually if you don't know what to use for it, it what to use it for oh language is hot so we have the tweezer and the top thing for the lid here so you can make a display for um, your creation. Let me open this first. <coughs> Again, this is plastic, so that's just garbage. So I'm just gonna pop this one here right in there. See if I can do it. There we go. And um, you can use this as a display. I've heard that you can pop these in there. Um, maybe without the table on first. Yeah, like that. And then the tabletop on there. And then you can display whatever you make and pop it in here to, for a display. That's actually pretty neat. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six bags in here and the little um, paper doily. Let's open these and see what we get. Oh, that's a nice plate. Oops. And I think that's a resin. Let's do this one. Happy Sun Farms. I think that might be fruit. Uh, let me see if I can open this one without a scissor. I cannot... I'm just gonna make it like that. Oh, bananas! 
all this plastic. They are really, really cute, but you can see that is definitely not 1 to 12. That is more 1 to 6 size, but they are really, really cute. Cute! I think that might be a spoon or a knife. Let's see. And let's see if I can get it out of here. That's kind of a big bag for a small thing. Oh, it was a fork. I think that's uh, to avoid it getting lost in the um, blind bowl here. But I think still it doesn't need to be that big. Have a sunny day. Happy Sun Farms. Let's open that and see. Uh, small chocolate chips. Oh, and that is uh, having this little opening. Oh, they are cute. And they are really, really tiny. Actually, I think you could use these for 1 to 6 if you want to. Oh, no, 1 to 12 if you want to. And that just pop on. It just doesn't screw anything. No, it's just uh, popped on. So bananas and chocolates. Let's see what we have here. Made fresh. Sunny griddle. Sunny griddle. Golden pancakes. Ooh, ooh. Open here. I like pancakes. Come on. Nice. We got pancakes. And they are really nice shaded. They could have a little more here on the top side. Uh, hard plastic. So I got pancakes and chocolate and bananas. So this will be the resin. Yep. That was a little... Uh, I forgot the name of those. And so much plastic. So this is maple syrup. I like that. And we have the warnings here. And there are so much details on these small things here. Um, let me see if I can get this off. <laughs> it's really nice stuck on there. Oh, whatever. So it has a little bird here on front and then the sun and then some infos here. I don't know if you can see that. And the same with these pancakes. It has the infos and all the details on there. So that's going to be fun to make. Let's open this little one. And I'm actually saving these because if I don't get any more of these... Um, uh, oh, there's a lot of nice thing here. If I don't get any more of these blind balls, I can always go in and find one of these and make in 1 to 12. So that's why I'm saving these ones. Um, there it is. So I am just going to take this out. If possible. Okay, I'm just going to do like that and then... There we go. So we have the how-to here. And I'm gonna put this to the side so um, if I run out of these balls, I have more ideas for uh, what to do. Um, so let's see. So this one is going like under the plate. That's actually a big plate for um, pancakes. And I think this is the bottom side, so I would put them like this, I think, in there. If you have a resin between here, uh, the light, the UV light won't hit that and then it won't harden at all. So you have to keep that in mind while working with this one. So they want us to uh, place the um, pancakes first, then the resin and then the toppings. Um, and I think that's a very neat way to do it. Let's open this one. I actually did make pancakes in 1 to 12 before, but it's going to be fun to make that again because that's a long time ago. And this little fork is not that pretty, but it's there. Um, and let's open the resin. 
taking off this little piece here again please don't get it on your finger uh, or fingers because this is toxic see if I can get it open these are really uh, stubborn let me try something that might work There we go. No, that did not work. So now I will have to get in there somehow. Again, I don't want my fingers in the resin. And I don't think we will. Making sure that my tools are nice and clean. Just gonna cut this off so that I have an opening here. Pop that in the garbage. Come on. So I'm ready. I just found my UV resin light here. I got a new one. I think you have seen this before and my silver paper and I took out the pancakes you can save this little box if you want to for your one to six dolls because they are so cute um, and you have the tweezers here with more plastic um, I don't really like these tweezers but um, they're there pop this cap on nice um, let us get some of the chocolates here out. I think I'm gonna put them here on the side. There we go. I'm not gonna use every one of these because I think they are so tiny and so small. They're actually, if you ask me, a bit too tiny if you compare them with the um, banana here. Uh, but okay. Okay, let's do this. So I'm just gonna see if I can get some resin out of this one. It's really hard to squeeze this bottle here. It has a not good shape here. Oh, but that is nice. Sorry if you can't see anything for my fingers. I think I'm going to place this bottle to the side and then just quickly give that a, um, a hardening because I like that there on the middle and then I will um, decorate when that is hard just with a tiny bit more resin. I don't need this one to be all hardened so I can just stop there because this won't run anywhere anymore but I want some here on the side so again I'm trying to get some more out of this bottle but it's so big here that it is so hard to squeeze and I'm just gonna make it flow down the side here I'm not sure if there's any more in there Actually, I think it's starting to get empty. And now I'm going to decorate. Yeah. So I am taking some of these bananas. There is not much details on those. I could have had a little more. They could have had a little more um, color.
coloring in there, but I can do that afterwards if I want to. So I can put those in there and then taking some of these chocolate pieces here if they want to. This tweezer is really not working for me. Uh, maybe place another banana over here. And I can uh, take one of these and dip into into there and then just place that on top. But you need to get the light underneath, otherwise it won't harden at all. Just placing a few of these chocolatey tops here. And this is not all hardened, so maybe I can get one to sit in there. I really want to have more of this resin here. Oh yes, there we go. There was a lot more in there, and now some of my chocolate kind of disappeared in there. Maybe a little more on the side, this way the pancakes will also stay in place. And a big air bubble. I'm not sure what side of these bananas that are most pretty. I really like some more details for those. Maybe if I can get a little more here, that's nice. And then placing a little more of the decorations here. Just because I can. There we go. There is actually more resin in there. I have seen a lot of people getting a little too little of the resin, but I have more than enough here. So I like that. And now I'm just gonna pop it under my UV light here and give it around five minutes to cure. Now let's go back into voiceover. Here is the result that we made from this little blind ball and I am going to make this in 1 to 12 so let's get to it. I'm going to make the crepes out of some dough colored clay rolled out on a setting sex on my pasta machine and I have this circle cutter that I really like the shape of the size of so I'm just going to make three pancakes with the circle cutter here sadly it looks like the company Cernit is not anymore making the um, caramel colored clay that I really really like for stuff like this so I will have to find a new blend for this um, dough colored clay um, but right now I have still a little left so I'm using that the tool I just used here was a piece of mold putty that was the amazing mold putty that I used um, on top of a piece of very um, stiff and rough sandpaper to make some textures that I'm using for these pancakes. And then I am using my toothbrush as well to give it kind of a first layer um, of texture. And then I am using my dotting tool to make a lot of dots into the pancakes or 
well you call it crepes in English um, so I'm just gonna do that the plate I have here is one I designed in Fusion 360 and printed myself uh, but I do have a lot of other plates uh, that I've made during the time here on YouTube so I will link a few of those in the info box below I'm using my soft pastel colors here to uh, give the crepes some color uh, and I'm first using some lighter color then I'm moving up to some darker brown color um, very lightly touching them with the darker brown then the red brown here only on the edges and the dark brown I'm using that a bit too to really make these crepes pop in the color uh, and if you want to you can always go to the black one and just a tiny bit on the edges so that it looks a bit burned but just work your way around with these colors and see what you like Now for the chocolate chips, I am mixing some uh, brown clay with some caramel clay, just uh, one to one. And I am cutting out tiny, tiny pieces of this mixture for these uh, chocolate chip. Um, if you have the original set like I do, you can always make a mold of them and then just pop the clay in there and then you have them because the size of the... Uh, real deal from the set are actually pretty nice for 1 to 12 but here I'm showing you what to do if you don't have that mold or the originals I'm just rolling a tiny piece into a bowl and then making a point on it and making the bottom flat and I'm just working with them until I'm happy with the shape When you have enough of those, then you just go ahead and bake everything together. Subscribe, like, and ring the bell button. I have these pre-made banana slices and I have a link in the info box below for the video where I made these. I'm not gonna show you in this video as they take a long time to make so go watch the video for it you can just use what kind of plate you want this is my master dessert master chopping uh, this is a caramel first I am going to glue down the crepes and I am using my tacky glue for that so I'm just placing a tiny bit of tacky glue on each of these crepes and then gluing them together in one stack Now it is time for my dessert topping master here. Uh, this is the caramel because I don't have anything that look like honey. And as my plate is 3D printed, I can't put it into the oven again. So I am going to use this caramel topping instead. Um, you can mix some liquid uh, fimo with some yellowish or some orangey. Uh, soft pastel and use that on top of your crepes and then um, bake that again and you will have that more yellowy orange look um, as the real um, miniverse thing has but I'm just going to use this I'm using my tool to uh, correct where it is lying on the pancake a tiny bit and then I am just going to pop in some of my chocolate and my banana slices in there When it is all decorated, I just need to wait for the dessert topping master to dry and that will kind of work like a glue and make everything uh, stick together so that the small decorations are not falling off again. So that is all there is for this one. I actually had a lot of fun with this. 
Uh, it is ages ago since I made crepes last time, so that was really, really fun to do. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. So thank you for watching and happy crafting.